Welcome to this video lesson on software risk management. Today, we will explore the essential aspects of managing risks in software development, including integrated risk management, promoting a security culture, and implementing continuous improvement. Risk management is crucial in guiding a system to achieve desired results. It involves various elements, and organizations create frameworks to manage and coordinate risk sources and activities. Organizations constantly manage risks, and IRM involves using a set of practices, processes, and enabling technologies to manage risks across the enterprise. An integrated view of risk improves decision-making and performance. Management must ensure compliance with various requirements stemming from contracts, policies, strategic initiatives, and external regulations or laws. Compliance refers to activities related to external requirements, while conformance deals with internal requirements. Legal issues are significant in governance and risk management. Intellectual property and data breaches are two major concerns. Protecting intellectual property requires both legal action and preventive controls. Standards are norms that define rules governing behavior to ensure a specified level of quality. Relevant standards for software development include those from ISO, PCI, NIST, OWASP, SAFE Code, SAMM, and BSIMM. When risks are identified, management has several options. Fixing the problem, removing the problem, transferring the risk, or accepting the risk. Understanding key terms is essential. Threat, vulnerability, residual risk, controls, and impact. Software development involves both technological and business risks. Technological risks are tied to the development process, while business risks relate to the overall operation of the business. Creating a security culture involves aligning team members' motivations with enterprise goals. Security champions play a crucial role in leading and guiding teams. Continuous improvement focuses on refining processes to enhance business results. It involves proactive measures to examine and improve processes, ensuring the development cycle adapts to changes in technology, threats, and regulations. To recap, this chapter covered integrated risk management, regulations and compliance, legal considerations, standards and guidelines, and various risk management strategies. Thank you for joining this lesson on software risk management. By understanding and applying these concepts, you can better manage risks in software development, ensuring secure and successful outcomes. Stay tuned for more lessons in this series.